is the Headbangers Ball from Lubbock, Texas, and you are there. And right now we are with Dana Strum and Mark Slaughter. Hey, hey. From hey, the hey. band Slaughter. That's right. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they are setting your stage up right as we speak, right? That's right. They're out there. Andy Chappell, our sound guy, who uh, did uh, our record as well, is up there. Currently so waltzing man. across the stage <laughs> on what is to be the first Slaughter gig ever the very performed first. by we the We can't band. wait. The first. So not just the first of this tour, the first no, the Slaughter first show ever. Yeah, first time Slaughter's ever, ever played in front of an audience that wasn't our Roadies. illustrious road crew. Uh -huh. So are you guys feeling excited, a little nervous maybe? No, no nervousness. It's actually just excitement to... Uh, uh, be playing with a band like Kiss, it's really exciting because, we, you know, I grew up with Kiss and to be out with a band like that, you know, to stay around as long as they have, it's, it's really, it's going to be good. Now, uh, the record's been doing real good. I think the joke is we go gold tonight and it's thanks to everybody out there. So this is a double thing for us, our first gig and our first gold record. Very cool. Very cool, too cool. Now also the video, uh, stick it to you, um, I'm sorry, the video Up All Night. We should have called it been, Stick It To You. Oh, well, <laughs> the, video up, the video Up All Night has been doing real good. It's been number one lots of times on Dial MTV. Now when are we going to see a new video for you, from you? Uh, we did uh, Fly to the Angels. Fly to the Angels, Jim, uh, Jim Shea. Yeah, did we it, did it about you know. two weeks ago in L.A., and it should be uh, out, I would think, in three weeks. Well, I'm sure we will see it on yeah, MTV. MTV. Okay, right now we're going to be playing a video from Killer Dwarves. This is Dirty Weapons from Lubbock, Texas, with Slaughter. I'm Ricky Rackman in Lubbock, Texas. We're with uh, Dana and Mark from Slaughter. Now, we're about to play your video, Up All Night. I understand that last night you guys were up all night. Right, we had an up all night party in Lubbock. Uh, somebody from a, a radio station won a contest, and we threw a party over at their house. And we had barbecue, good southern hospitality. More brew and beer ha than you've seen <laughs> in a long Mexican holiday in Cabo and La Paz put together. <laughs> and speaking of which, earlier today you also saw me in Cabo, but we'll talk about that later. Um, anyways... Yo. We're going to be seeing your video, and, uh, well, why don't, why don't you intro and any interesting stories you can tell us about the Up All Night video? Up All Night video? How about Actually, Mark's car getting stolen yeah, from the video shoot? Yeah, absolutely. If any of you have seen a gold MR2 running around? Uh -huh. I've Please. never seen a gold MR2 in my life. And I've never seen one either. <laughs> uh, Mark owned one, and it was stolen from the Up All Night video shoot. So Thank God I was chance. insured. Anyway, here's our new video, or actually our older video. This is Up All Night, right here on MTV. Hi, it's the third hour of Headbangers Ball. We're on the road with Kiss, Faster Pussycat, and, and Slaughter. Slaughter. Which is you guys. Which is us, us guys. <laughs> uh, coming up, Megadeth, Ozzy Osbourne, Death Angels debut, and one of our favorite bands, Guns and Roses. Now, uh... Like we were saying before, this is your first show ever, ever tonight. So nobody out there has ever seen Slaughter before. We, we've barely even seen Slaughter before. We have not seen Slaughter before because <laughs> we never even videotaped. We're like scared to look at ourselves. <laughs> now, for people that are, when your uh, show is going to hit their town, which it probably will, give us a little taste, a little hint, if you will, of what it would be like to well, see Slaughter live. We're just what can a they straightforward expect? rock and roll band. We're, this is our, our debut record, and, and basically we're just going out there to play you know, good old rock and roll, and that's what it's about. Uh, I think that part. when we did when we did the record, we all were, were getting to know each other other than Mark and I. You know, Bloss, our drummer, is from Houston, Texas, which is his home state. He's debuting in. Probably cleaned windows in this venue before. Uh, I don't think they cleaned the windows. Yeah, they probably, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't mean it. Uh, anyway, Tim Kelly is a guitarist from Philly, and his first gig in Philly is like the Spectrum, yeah. which is like an unreal is a thing, big, for a big yeah. thing for him. Yeah, for Tim, it's so like a dream dude, come I true. Know, I can't do it, dude. I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, and the band is much harder edged live. It'd almost be like Metallica playing.
playing slaughter songs. So we look real forward to that. We do a candle ceremony in our opening song, Eye to Eye, where the stage goes black and we have like candles lit up and around our drum riser. And, and yeah, things going and, uh, I know, we, we, you know, we're an opening band. We're trying to prove ourselves, get out there, make a shake and uh, do some damage. To the enjoy world. ourselves. So come on out and see the show. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hey, we're going to be talking to the guys from Slaughter a little bit later here on the Headbangers Ball from Lubbock, Texas. But right now we're going to take a look at a video from Iron Maiden vocalist. He still is the Iron Maiden vocalist. He just went and did some solo stuff. This is Bruce Dickinson with Tattooed Millionaire. I can't believe it. You know, I can't you know, believe it. Hey, yeah. can't believe you turn your eyes out like this, and it's people like you viewers that make this happen. God bless you, man. Back on the Headbangers Ball in Lubbock, Texas, with Dana and Mark from and the Ricky. band, and me, Ricky, <laughs> from the band Slaughter. But they want to talk to you. Um, from the band Slaughter. Now, uh, we had you guys in New York on the Headbangers Ball studio not too long ago, and I was talking to you about your vocal range mm -hmm. before. Yeah, five octaves. Which is, like, very rare. It's pretty wide. The lowest of the low. And the highest of the highs. Especially the highest of the highs. <laughs> when you high. clamp that vice grip down, it gets nasty up there. <laughs> so now, um, we talked a little bit about you guys playing live, and this is, of course, the first show. Um, are there any kind of feelings? I mean, what kind of things are you guys trying to do up on stage? I, I would say that for us, we're a new band and we're trying to prove ourselves both to each other. And we have personal goals every night, which is obviously to outdo what we think we might have done the night before or take the good moments from a night before a rehearsal and better them in front of people and grow in front of our audience. There's, we never expected quite the warmth and the size of an we, audience we that Slaughter had. We uh, didn't expect the record to do as well as it has or the, the, the video to do we as well as it We just wanted to go out and, and do music and play. So and, when you and heard the songs, you didn't think to yourself, hey, I think we've got at least a gold record here, which well, it just well, went gold? You know something you never know in this business. We were just... There's a lot of great records that are yeah. lost, you know, in the shuffle in the shuffle of this business. Some of and our I think favorites that, are shuffled. Yeah, I mean, we have our faves that don't sell probably three records, you know, that, that Black Sabbath records or something that never were gold records or anything, but they're still big influences on people's right. lives. Um, and so, no, I don't say, oh, we didn't know that. We just thought we'd go out, put together a band, do our music, and, and try and bring it to the people and play it as hard edge and nasty as we can. Great. People are yelling at us right now because we're holding you from your sound check. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to speak with us and congratulations on just going gold. Thank, thank you. you. We want to thank everybody out there and tell you you've been a big part of our lives and given us an extra refrigerator box to live in and a roll of duct tape to put them together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks. There you go. Here is the live version of Shot in the Dark from Ozzy.